Thank you for staying with us. I'm still with Dr. Teach. Okay, Doc, uh, before we went for a short break, you ex were explaining how you used to go dim You can pick up. Okay, thank you. Uh, your question was uh, what needs to be done for our use. Um, I was just telling you how responsibility was was nurtured in us. You know, you would wake up at 3 a.m., go to the field, do justice what you must do there. All right? Then uh, come back home, go to the reef, which is probably four kilometers away. You see? But water which is not warm, eh? it's just, it has been let bare and it, it's, it's very cold. Actually, it's minus. More Yes, mm -hmm. and you bath. There. You walk again four kilometers to rest for school, right? Then you run 15 kilometers to school, school. Do your work, come back, right? Then do your homework. So you will see there we had about four, the maximum of four hours rest. Because 3 a.m. You, you are up. Okay, you see, maybe around 11, 12. You are, you are sleeping, you go to bed, you sleep, 3 a.m. you are up. This is how it has been like every day, you see. So, by default, default setting, we were trained to be responsible, to look after our own selves, you see. To the extent that those who picked this are doing exploits right now. That's why I attribute uh, the reason why um, in the industrial uh, areas of the world you will find a Zimbabwean being leading the shops. It's because of that response. Because the time we grew up, there were very few schools in, you could travel such kilometers. It is different now. But with our kids right now, with our brothers and sisters who are coming up, they, they are just there. And they think that it's maybe their brother or their parents or their president or their their MP or their anyone is responsible for them. Okay, what should be done? The question is what should be done? We understand you like you're saying, but you used to be given such responsibilities at a very tender age. What should be done for, for this generation to understand that they need to take uh, the, to grab the bull by its own? What should be done? First of all. It's you who mentioned the laws which are coming in right now, which are pro, you know, use rights, abuse, everything. Those are things that are very difficult, right, to undo right now. But I think where we need to start is our education system. Because a person is what they are, dependent on what has been put into, into them. Head. Before they slept, we allowed them to sleep. Huh? <laughs> Before they became whatever they are, they were allowed. Or they caught. Or maybe it, it is something that they saw. You see? So we need to have a deliberate change of education system in terms of content. In terms of content. content. You will see that um, I'm a doctor of theology. But what I do right now has nothing to do with you. It's not so. If you get into our education system, we have many useless degrees. Useless. And that's what and those those degrees cannot improve our nation. Cannot at the same time improve the degree holder. This is why as a nation. And as a people, and you and I need to be exposed to the proper education that is to do with commercializing ourselves. Because if at the end of the day, out of your eight hours of survival or eight hours of your work, you 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 are not making money or you are not doing anything that improves your nation, what it means is we are all dead. We don't have a future to talk about. I feel, I feel strongly that we need to have probably another episode just on you trying to explain uh, on how us 
youths can be productive. I, I, I want you right now to just a little bit uh, take me through your lowest moments in time, uh, your lowest moments in your career, your lowest moments probably be it in your social life and Thank how you. you manage to pick yourself. Thank you. Uh, the waiting, careful, or uh, perfection, maybe. If you can't make mistakes in life, it means you will never have a lowest point. In social, if you are a zombie, then you always have a lowest point. If you don't want to move, you don't mind. Um, my lowest point was when I was growing up. I don't have a background as any other child would want to say. I need a VCD for my, for my parents. Then when I grew up, when I was with someone, I was arrested. I went to jail myself for 42 days. Okay, Doc, uh, hold it right there. Yeah. We'll pick up as Doc tries, uh, explains on how you got arrested. I, I didn't know of that, but thank you, Doc, for opening up. Stay tuned, we'll be right back on the third and final segment. Kwataba ku 